Did you notice that the last week of July is not like any other week? Rather, this week is also seen as a time of great spiritual energy and transformation. During this period, many people feel a sense of introspection, connection and transformation. Many factors contribute to this perception, making it a unique and powerful time for individual and collective spiritual growth. One reason why the last week of July is considered spiritually significant is the astrological influences present at this time. The Sun is in Leo, a zodiac sign associated with strength, courage and creativity. This astrological alignment encourages individuals to shine their inner light, express their true self and pursue their passions with confidence. Leo energy can be both invigorating and challenging inspiring people to face their fears and embrace their authentic identity. In addition to the influence of Leo, the last week of July often coincides with important lunar phases such as the full moon or new moon. These stages are believed to heighten spiritual energy and provide opportunities for reflection, liberation and renewal. In today's video, we will go into the significance of some spiritual events that occur at the end of July. On a more personal level, the end of July often serves as a time for reflection and re-evaluation. As the midpoint of the year passes, many people naturally begin to evaluate their progress, goals and aspirations. Many ancient cultures, such as the Egyptians and the Celts, celebrated important festivals during this time of year. These celebrations were often marked by rituals, ceremonies and communal gatherings that fostered a sense of unity and spiritual connection. In addition, the last week of July is a time when nature itself is in a state of change. Just as a storm clears the air and brings new vitality to the land, the emotional and spiritual upheaval experienced during this time can pave the way for profound personal breakthroughs. When the energies of so many events come together, it is a time of reflection and transformation which provides opportunities for intense spiritual growth and renewal. In today's video, I will also tell you further how you can take advantage of this transformational period to align with your highest potential. So are you ready to take advantage of this transformational period? So type in the comment, I am completely open to this energy. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, then do it now. Influence of Leo on inner and outer life. The last week of July holds a special place in spiritual and astrological traditions, primarily due to the sun's presence in the sign of Leo. This period is marked by a unique set of influences that can have a profound effect on our inner and outer lives. Leo, represented by the lion, is known for its association with strength, courage and creativity. When the sun enters this sign, it brings with it a powerful energy that encourages us to shine and embrace our true self. The lion is often seen as the king of the jungle symbolizing a sense of majestic confidence and courage. This symbolism translates into the astrological influence of Leo, where individuals are inspired to step into their power and live with a sense of purpose and self-assurance. During this time, many feel a wave of vitality and a desire to express themselves more fully. This is a time when our inner light is encouraged to shine, illuminating our path and helping us connect with our deepest passions. Leo energy is all about being true to ourselves, and this can manifest in a variety of ways. You may find yourself more inclined to take risks, pursue creative endeavors, or speak your truth. The courage associated with Leo can help us overcome fears that have been holding us back inspiring us to face challenges with a new kind of bravery. Creativity is another important aspect of Leo's influence. This is a time when artistic pursuits and self-expression are particularly favorable. 
Whether it's through writing, painting, music, or some other form of creativity, Leo Energy aids us in discovering and showcasing our unique talents. This period can be incredibly rewarding for those who embrace their creative impulses, allowing them to create work that is both meaningful and impactful. However, Leo Energy is not without its challenges. The intense focus on self-expression and individuality can sometimes lead to conflicts, especially if we focus too much on our own needs and desires. It's important to balance this energy with consideration for others, ensuring that our pursuit of personal fulfillment does not come at the expense of our relationships or responsibilities. Leo's influence also extends to the realm of personal growth and self-discovery. This is a time when we are encouraged to reflect on our true identity and what it means to live authentically. The roar of the lion is a metaphor for finding and using our voice, standing up for what we believe in, and claiming our presence in the world. For many, this can be a transformative period of self-realization, where we understand ourselves more deeply and align our actions with our inner values. Spiritually, the last week of July can be a powerful time for setting intentions and manifesting desires. The strong, confident energy of Leo can help us focus our intentions and take decisive action toward our goals. Whether it's through meditation, visualization, or other spiritual practices, this period is well suited for harnessing the energy of the sun in Leo to bring our dreams into reality. It's also worth noting that the sun's presence in Leo aligns with the peak of summer in the Northern Hemisphere, a season often associated with abundance, warmth and growth. This natural alignment further enhances the sense of vitality and optimism that characterizes this period. The long sunny days can remind us of the light within us, urging us to make the most of this vibrant time. In conclusion, the last week of July is considered spiritually significant due to the powerful astrological influence of the Sun in Leo. This period encourages us to embrace our strengths, courage and creativity, inspiring us to live authentically and pursue our passions with confidence. While Leo's energy can be invigorating and transformative, it also demands balance and mindfulness in our interactions with others. By harnessing this dynamic energy, we can experience personal growth, creative fulfillment, and a deeper connection with our true self. Period between full moon and new moon. In addition to the influence of Leo, the last week of July often features significant lunar phases, such as a full moon or new moon, which are believed to increase spiritual energy. These lunar phases offer unique opportunities for contemplation, liberation and renewal, making this period a time of spiritual potential and transformation. The full moon is a powerful celestial event that illuminates the night sky with its bright, radiant presence. Spiritually, the full moon is considered a time of culmination and completion. It symbolizes the peak of energy and the fruition of intentions set during the new moon phase. Many people feel that the full moon brings clarity, revealing insights and truths that were previously hidden. This illumination can be both enlightening and challenging, as it forces us to confront aspects of ourselves and our lives that need attention. As the energy of the full moon begins to wane, we enter a phase of liberation and letting go. This period is ideal for reflecting on what no longer serves us and consciously releasing any negative patterns, emotions or behaviors that hinder our growth. The waning moon encourages introspection and self-examination, helping us to identify areas in our lives where we need to make changes. It is a time to cleanse and purify physically and emotionally, making room for new experiences and opportunities. As we approach the new moon, the energy moves towards renewal and new beginnings. Unlike the full moon, the new moon is a time of darkness and introspection. It represents a blank slate, 
offering a fresh start and a chance to set new intentions for the coming lunar cycle. The absence of the moon's light encourages us to turn inward, connect with our inner selves and sow the seeds of our desires and aspirations. The period between the full moon and the new moon, often called the waning moon phase, is a time of change and transition. It is during this time that we can harness the energy of both the light of the full moon and the potential for new beginnings of the new moon. This in-between phase is particularly powerful for spiritual growth as it allows us to integrate the insights gained during the full moon and prepare for the new intentions we will set with the new moon. The last week of July, therefore, becomes a powerful time for spiritual practices that support reflection, liberation and renewal. Liberation is a major theme during this time. The process of letting go of old patterns and behaviors can be incredibly liberating, allowing us to break free of limitations and step into a more authentic and empowered version of ourselves. This liberation is not just about letting go of what no longer serves us, but also about reclaiming our power and ability to create the life we want. Renewal is another important aspect of this period. As we let go of the old, we make room for the new. The energy of the new moon supports us in creating new intentions and envisioning the future. It's a time to dream big and align our actions with our deepest desires. The energy of the new moon helps us focus our intentions and take the first steps toward realizing our goals. The last week of July is a spiritually significant time due to the powerful influence of the lunar phases. The transition from full moon to new moon offers a unique opportunity for contemplation, liberation and renewal. By embracing the energy of this period, we can gain insight, let go of what no longer serves us and set new intentions for the future. This transformative time encourages us to connect with our inner self, embrace our power and create a life that is in line with our highest aspirations. A period of profound change and connection. The last week of July is a time of transformation, not just for individuals, but for nature as well. In the Northern Hemisphere, this period marks the height of summer, which is synonymous with abundance, growth and vitality. The long warm days and vibrant energy of the environment offer a unique opportunity to reconnect with nature and draw inspiration from its beauty and dynamism. This connection to the natural world can be deeply connecting and spiritually nourishing, reminding us of our place in the larger web of life. During this time of year, nature is at its most bountiful. Gardens and fields are full of life, plants are in full bloom, and the landscape is lush. This abundance marks the peak of the growing season, a time when the hard work of planting and nurturing is rewarded with a bountiful harvest. The sight of ripening fruit, blooming flowers, and flourishing greenery is a reminder of nature's generosity and the cyclical rhythms that sustain life. Connecting with this natural abundance can cultivate a sense of gratitude and reverence for the earth, which deepens our spiritual connection with the world around us. The warmth and light of the summer sun play an important role in this period of growth and change. The long days provide ample time to spend outdoors, soaking in the sun's energy and enjoying the natural beauty around us. Whether it's taking a relaxing walk in the park, hiking in the mountains, swimming in a lake or simply sitting in the garden, being in nature at this time can be incredibly rejuvenating. The sun's rays not only warm our bodies but also lift our spirits, creating a sense of vitality and well-being. This immersion in nature's energy can help us feel more alive and connected to the earth increasing our overall sense of peace and harmony. The natural world in late July also offers countless moments of wonder and inspiration. The songs of birds, the buzzing of bees, the rustling of leaves in the wind. 
and the sight of butterflies dancing among flowers all contribute to a rich sensory experience. These small everyday miracles of nature can instill a sense of awe and appreciation for the complex web of life we are all a part of. Observing these natural phenomena can create a sense of groundedness and presence in the mind, encouraging us to slow down and enjoy the beauty of the moment. Spending time in nature during the last week of July can also serve as a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. The ecosystems that thrive during this time of year depend on a delicate balance of elements, with each species playing a vital role in maintaining the health and vitality of the environment. This interconnectedness reflects the larger web of life, where every action and every creature has an impact on the whole. By observing and appreciating this natural harmony, we can gain a greater understanding of our place within this complex system and the importance of living in harmony with the world around us. In addition, the peak of summer is a time when many people feel a natural tendency to be more active and engaged with the world. The energy of the season encourages outdoor activities, social gatherings and community events. This increased activity and social interaction can increase our sense of belonging and connection with others, fostering a sense of unity and shared experience. Whether it is a family picnic, community celebration, or spontaneous gathering with friends, these moments of connection can be deeply gratifying and spiritually enriching. The last week of July is a period of intense change and connection, both in nature and within us. The abundance, growth, and vibrancy of this season offer plenty of opportunities to reconnect with the natural world and draw inspiration from its beauty and energy. This connection to nature can be deeply grounding and spiritually nourishing, reminding us of our place in the larger web of life and encouraging us to live in harmony with the world around us. By embracing the energies and opportunities of this time, we can increase our sense of well-being, deepen our spiritual connection and foster a greater appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life. A time for personal reflection and re-evaluation. The end of July often becomes a natural time for personal reflection and re-evaluation. As we pass the midpoint of the year, many people begin to assess their progress, goals and aspirations. This introspective period can be incredibly valuable, providing profound insight and a renewed sense of purpose. It is a time to celebrate accomplishments, acknowledge challenges, and make the necessary adjustments to align with your highest potential. As the year reaches its halfway point, it is common for individuals to look back over the past months and think about what they have accomplished. This process of reflection allows us to take stock of our successes and milestones, no matter how big or small they are. Celebrating these accomplishments is important because it recognizes our efforts and motivates us to continue pursuing our goals. This acknowledgement of progress can be deeply gratifying and serves as a reminder of our abilities and strengths. Also, reflection often brings up the challenges and obstacles we have faced. It is a chance to face these difficulties with honesty and compassion understanding that they are a natural part of any journey. Acknowledging these challenges can be empowering as it enables us to learn from our experiences and become stronger. By recognizing what has not gone according to plan, we can gain valuable insight into areas that need improvement or a different approach. This period of introspection is also an opportunity to re-evaluate our goals and aspirations, our desires and priorities may change over time and what seemed important at the beginning of the year may no longer resonate with us. The end of July is a great time to revisit our goals and see if they still align with our current values and passions. This re-evaluation process allows us to refine our objectives, ensuring they are in line with our true self and highest potential. 
Making adjustments is an important aspect of this reflective period. As we gain new insights and clarity, we may realize that some changes are necessary to stay on track with our goals. These adjustments can range from minor changes in our daily routine to significant shifts in our approach or direction. Being flexible and open to change is vital for personal growth and development. By adapting our plans and strategies, we can better move toward our aspirations. In addition, this time of year encourages us to connect with our inner selves and listen to our intuition. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to lose touch with our inner voice. The end of July offers us a moment of pause, allowing us to connect with our deeper wisdom and guidance. This inner connection can provide deeper insights and clarity, helping us to make decisions that are in line with our true purpose. The process of reflection and re-evaluation can also foster greater awareness and a sense of presence. By taking time to reflect on our journey, we become more aware of our thoughts, feelings and actions. This increased awareness allows us to understand ourselves and our motivations more deeply. It encourages us to live more intentionally, making conscious choices that support our well-being and personal growth. Additionally, this period can inspire a new sense of purpose and direction. As we gain clarity on our goals and make necessary adjustments, we can move forward with more confidence and determination. This new focus can be incredibly energizing, rekindling our passion and motivation to fulfill our dreams. It empowers us to take active steps toward our aspirations, knowing that we are aligned with our highest potential. This introspective period allows us to refine our goals, make necessary adjustments, and reconnect with our inner self. By embracing this process, we can gain deeper insights, a new sense of purpose, and a clearer path toward realizing our highest potential. This period of reflection not only enhances our personal growth, but also encourages us to live more consciously and intentionally, aligning our actions with our true values and aspirations. A time of profound insight. At the end of July, we find ourselves in a unique midpoint of the year, a time that often brings a sense of urgency and a desire to make sudden decisions. This phase between the beginning and end of the year can feel like a defining moment, where the contemplation of past months and anticipation of the future come together. It's almost as if the halfway mark prompts a re-evaluation of our goals, dreams and the paths we've chosen. This midpoint can heighten our intuition, leading to profound insights and intuitive choices. During this time, many people experience an increased sense of clarity. The reasons for this increase in intuition and decisiveness are multifaceted, combining psychological, emotional and spiritual elements. Psychologically, reaching the midpoint of the year prompts an underlying reflection. We instinctively assess what we've accomplished and what still remains to be done. This reflection can bring a clearer perspective on what's working in our lives and what's not, enabling us to make more informed and intuitive decisions. As time passes, we are forced to act swiftly and decisively to correct our path or take advantage of opportunities. Emotionally, the end of July often brings a certain energy. Summer is in full swing, with long sunny days that invigorate and inspire. This season of abundance and activity can awaken feelings and desires that were previously dormant. The vibrancy of summer encourages us to pursue our passions and take risks, trusting our intuitive feelings more easily. This heightened emotional state can be a powerful catalyst for bold decision-making, as our feelings align more closely with our intuitive sense of what is right for us. Spiritually, the middle of the year is often seen as a time of balance and alignment. 
Many spiritual traditions emphasize the importance of this period as a time for introspection and connection with higher consciousness. The natural world is flourishing, and this outer abundance can reflect an inner awakening. As we tune into the rhythms of nature, we find our intuition sharpening. We become more attuned to the subtle signs and synchronicities that guide our decisions. This spiritual attunement can bring a sudden, almost magical increase in our intuitive abilities. The heightened intuition experienced during this time can manifest in a variety of ways. Some people may have vivid dreams that provide guidance or clarity. Others may feel a strong inner sense or inner voice that leads them to certain actions or decisions. These intuitive prompts can feel urgent and compelling, pushing us to make choices we might have previously hesitated to consider. Trusting this intuition can be transformative, bringing significant and positive changes to our lives. The middle period of the year can also encourage us to take stock of our personal growth and development. As we reflect on the past six months, we may recognize patterns or habits that no longer serve us. This awareness can lead us to make sudden, decisive changes to connect more closely with our true self and our goals. Whether it's changing jobs, ending a relationship, or starting a new adventure, these intuition-driven decisions can lead us down a more authentic and gratifying path. In addition, the end of July often brings a sense of liberation. The year has progressed enough that we can feel the speed of time, yet there is still ample opportunity to make changes. This balance between what has happened and what could happen is empowering. It encourages us to break free from stagnation and embrace new possibilities with confidence. Our intuition, inspired by this sense of potential, leads us to actions that resonate deeply with our inner desires and aspirations. In practical terms, acting on heightened intuition during this time can lead to more authentic and rewarding experiences. Whether we're making decisions in our personal lives, careers, or spiritual journeys, this period encourages us to trust ourselves more. It's time to listen to that inner voice and take bold steps toward your dreams. Although these decisions may seem sudden, they are often the result of a deep, subconscious process that builds over time. The clarity and decisiveness that emerges at the end of July is the natural culmination of this inner work. In conclusion, the end of July, as the middle period of the year, is a time rich with intuitive insights and sudden decision-making potential. The combination of psychological reflection, emotional energy and spiritual alignment creates fertile ground for heightened intuition. Embracing this period can lead to profound personal growth and transformational change as we are guided by our inner wisdom to make decisions that align with our true self. Feeling the turbulent energy. The end of July, with its unique position as the midpoint of the year, often brings a turbulent energy that can act as a powerful catalyst for growth and change. This period can feel like a storm passing through our lives, stirring up emotions and challenging our sense of stability. Yet just as a storm clears the air and revitalizes the land, the emotional and spiritual upheaval we experience during this time can lead to profound personal breakthroughs. Accepting this turbulence rather than resisting it can help us become stronger, wiser and more aware of our true self. One way to understand this turbulence is to see it as a necessary part of our personal growth. Change is sometimes not comfortable and growth often requires us to face our fears, doubts and limitations. The end of July brings these challenges to the fore, pushing us to confront aspects of ourselves and our lives that we may prefer to ignore. This confrontation can be unsettling, but it is through this process that we gain a deeper understanding of who we are and what we really want. The emotional intensity of this period forces us to dig deep, question our assumptions 
and re-evaluate our priorities. The stormy nature of this time can also be seen as a cleansing force. Just as a physical storm clears away debris and brings fresh, revitalizing rain, the emotional and spiritual upheaval we experience can help us let go of old patterns, beliefs, and behaviors that no longer serve us. This clearing process makes room for new growth and possibilities. It allows us to let go of the past and embrace new beginnings with a clearer, more focused mindset. By releasing what is holding us back, we create an opportunity for true transformation and renewal. Embracing the turbulence of this period involves a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing challenges and disruptions as negative or unwanted, we can view them as opportunities for growth. Each obstacle we face is a chance to learn more about ourselves and develop resilience. By facing these challenges, we build inner strength and gain confidence to weather future storms. This proactive approach to adversity helps us develop a sense of empowerment and self-efficacy. During this time, it is essential to practice self-compassion and patience. The process of growth and change is not linear and it is natural to experience setbacks and moments of doubt. Being kind to ourselves during this turbulent period can make a significant difference in how we emerge from it. Acknowledging our feelings, allowing ourselves to experience them fully, and seeking support from loved ones or a spiritual community can provide us with the emotional nourishment we need to persevere. Spiritual practices can be especially beneficial during this turbulent time. Meditation, journaling and mindfulness can help us stay grounded and centered amid the chaos. These practices enable us to connect with our inner wisdom and intuition, guiding us through the storm with a sense of purpose and clarity. By connecting with our higher self or higher power, we can find solace and strength trusting that we are being guided toward our highest good. The end of July also encourages us to embrace change with an open heart. This period of upheaval reminds us that life is dynamic and constantly evolving. Holding too tightly to the status quo can lead to stagnation, while being open to change allows us to grow and evolve. This openness includes a willingness to take risks step out of our comfort zone and embrace the unknown. It is through these adventurous acts that we discover new aspects of ourselves and uncover hidden potential. Reflecting on past experiences can also provide valuable insights during this time. By looking at past periods of turmoil in our lives, we can see how those challenges ultimately led to growth and positive change. This perspective can help us trust the process and remain hopeful, even when the present moment feels difficult. Understanding that turmoil is a natural and necessary part of our journey can give us the courage to move forward with confidence. In conclusion, the turbulent nature of late July can be a powerful catalyst for growth and change. Just as storms clear the air and bring new energy to the ground, the emotional and spiritual upheaval experienced during this time can pave the way for profound personal breakthroughs. By embracing this turbulence rather than resisting it, we can become stronger, wiser, and more aware of our true self. Why am I here? The last week of July, with its unique blend of reflective energy and transformative potential, is an ideal time to engage in deep self-inquiry. One of the most profound questions you can ask yourself during this period is, why am I here? What mission has the universe sent me to do? Exploring these questions can lead to a deeper understanding of your purpose and direction in life. Asking why am I here invites you to delve into the core of your existence. This question goes beyond surface level concerns and touches on your fundamental values passions and the impact you wish to have on the world. To explore this question deeply, start by reflecting on your life experiences. Look for patterns in your joys, challenges and the moments when you felt most alive. 
These reflections can provide clues about your purpose. Consider the activities that bring you the most fulfillment. What are the things you do that make you lose track of time? What gives you a sense of accomplishment and joy? These activities are often aligned with your true purpose because they resonate with your deepest desires and talents. For some, this might be creative endeavors like writing, painting, or music. For others, it could be acts of service, teaching, or building relationships. Recognizing these passions can guide you toward understanding your mission. The question of what mission the universe has sent you to do can also be explored through a spiritual lens. Many people believe that each person is born with a unique purpose, a mission that contributes to the greater good of humanity. To tap into this belief, you might spend time in meditation or prayer, asking for guidance and clarity. Quieting the mind and connecting with a higher power or your higher self can open you up to insights and inspirations that point toward your mission. Another powerful approach is to consider the needs of the world around you. Look at the issues and challenges that tug at your heart. What injustices or problems do you feel compelled to address? Sometimes our purpose is closely linked to the ways we can help others and make a positive impact. This external focus can be a guiding light in identifying your mission as it aligns your personal passions with the collective needs of society. It's also helpful to seek feedback from others. Talk to friends, family and mentors about your strengths and the ways they see you contributing to the world. Sometimes others can see our gifts and potential more clearly than we can ourselves. Their perspectives can provide valuable insights and affirmations about your path. Journaling is another excellent tool for exploring these questions. Write freely about your thoughts and feelings regarding your purpose. Allow yourself to dream and imagine different possibilities without judgment. This process can help you uncover desires and aspirations that you may have been suppressing. Writing can also bring clarity to your thoughts and help you articulate your mission more clearly. As you explore these questions, it's important to be patient and gentle with yourself. Finding your purpose is a journey, not a destination. It's okay if the answers don't come immediately. Trust that the process of asking and reflecting will gradually reveal insights and directions. Sometimes, purpose is discovered through taking small intentional steps rather than waiting for a grand revelation. Engaging in activities that align with your passions and values can also help clarify your mission. Volunteer for causes you care about, take up hobbies that excite you, or start projects that inspire you. These actions not only bring joy and fulfillment, but also help you learn more about what resonates with your soul. In this last week of July, embrace the opportunity for introspection and exploration. Use this time to connect deeply with yourself and the universe. Remember that your mission doesn't have to be grand or world-changing to be meaningful. It can be as simple as spreading kindness, creating beauty, or fostering connection. Every mission, no matter how small it may seem, contributes to the greater tapestry of life. In conclusion, the last week of July is a powerful time for self-discovery and spiritual reflection. By asking yourself, why am I here? What mission has the universe sent me to do? You embark on a journey of exploring your deepest passions, values, and the unique ways you can contribute to the world. Through reflection, spiritual practices, seeking feedback, journaling, and engaging in purposeful activities, you can uncover your mission and align your life with your true purpose. Embrace this period of introspection with an open heart and trust that the answers will unfold, guiding you towards a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we post a new video. 
We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions, so leave a comment down below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends if you found it helpful. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.